Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Jinzo. So last time we brought Jinzo, I think we maybe overestimated it a little bit. And I think we did maybe get a little bit unlucky as well as the fact Alex was playing the Prime deck, which did actually turn out to be a very, very strong deck. I do, however, still think Jinzo is pretty strong, right? Jinzo the Machine Menace reads like a broken, busted custom card, right? If either player has a trap card in their graveyard, we can special summon this from our hand, so we just get a free 2400 body. We can send this face-up card from our field to the graveyard to bring back a Jinzo from our graveyard, then look at all face-down cards your opponent's spelling trap zones, return to their original positions. If we do, we can destroy all trap cards. So this is pretty cool, especially when we can combine it with Jinzo Amplified, which is Jinzo while in the graveyard, so it immediately kind of works together. Then we can send the top card of the deck to the graveyard, cannot be destroyed by trap cards, which again shouldn't matter if we do summon off of Menace, because we should just get rid of all the trap cards. But then we can gain attack equal to the number of monsters in your graveyard times 100, specifically machine monsters. So this guy can easily reach over 3,000, sometimes as much as 4,000 attack, which can be pretty good. To try and supplement it, we're basically playing this slot machine engine because slot machine can get back our coin flopping cards so we do have the gale Vinery and we do have twin barrel we've decided to go with twin barrel as our legend monster because we don't really want more high level monsters we already have quite a few because we do also have mirror innovator which is just such a fantastic card in any machine deck we've also opted to not run back row hate because we do have jinzo the machine menace who can pop all the traps and we do have bolt tricorn at three copies which can also deal with them so we're getting a little bit cheeky and playing an extra few trap cards to try and get Jinzo's effect online. And they also work quite well with Machine Inspector for filling up our graveyard with those cards that we need in there. So this is the deck. We're feeling reasonably confident, but we were humbled the last time when Alex did beat us. So let's fire into the game and see what Alex has got for us. So last time we played I guess it was Secret Investigators versus Blue Eyes, which was an interesting one primarily because I think it was shortly after we played that game that we had the new ban list get announced, yeah. which has basically murdered Secret Investigators, which is very sad because it's a weird one. I never felt like I always knew Secret Investigators were good, right? I don't want to like overshadow that or like underplay it, but I didn't think they were like unfair good. I thought they were just like oh, this is a deck that gets to draw some cards and can weaken some stuff and is good at, like, plussing. And, like, it never had that super wow factor that, like, you know, summoning a Seven's Gears or a Eternal Galactica Oblivion has. It never felt like it had the versatility of, like, a Tier Zero XQT deck. Like, I don't know. It felt weird to me that they felt that they needed to hit it so hard as well. Because they didn't just hit it with, like, one little hit, right? They were like, oh, we're going to try and make this, like, unplayable. Yeah. So, I don't kind of like first time they hit Executi. <laughs> yeah, I mean to be fair, again, Executi was literally tier zero, right? There was like it was like if you're playing anything other than Executi and you're trying to play competitively, you're basically not taking the tournament seriously, unless you had like some very specific counter picks. Like mm. Executi at its height was literally that good. Whereas I feel like even bearing in mind again, like I haven't played like super competitively in quite a long time, pretty much since. Rush came out in Duel Links. I've been primarily focusing on playing that competitively because trying to find time to play both and learn both metas and stay on top of everything is a little bit of a nightmare. But even so, I don't feel like Secret Investigators were like so, so, so good that they overshadowed absolutely everything else. Now, to be fair, again, they're not the only deck that got hit. There were a couple of other hits, but it did feel like Secret Investigators were hit in such a way where they were like, could you please stop bringing this to every tournament? And it's like, oh yeah, I kind of get it. For this week, we are obviously still in our little drought, our little content drought, while we wait for a new product to come out. You still have a bunch of different stuff, right? You still got Hybrid Drive, which is going to be an awkward one to build, but still very much doable. There's still a different deck. Uh, you got some new Pyro cards. You got some new Monarch stuff. You did get some new Galaxy stuff, but a lot of that Galaxy stuff is Monarch stuff, but I think you could potentially just bring Galaxy as its own thing as well. 
and you still have the Fiend stuff with God Maju Gaza. So I feel like you've got such a wide variety of things. And every time I guess, I feel like I'm completely wrong. But I think at some point you want to bring the fiends. I think you're 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 a big fiend guy. You have brought dragons twice in a row, so I guess you could go for the hat trick and bring hyperdrive. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You got any idea what you think I'm going to be on? Ah, uh, not a clue. Okay, well let's just let's fire on and then then we can just see what we're both on. Wow. All right. Uh, I think we're going first. Okay. Let's see what you've got for us. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah. Is that a Monarch card? Maybe. The question is, what do I do with this information? It's like, you tribute set a card, so it's probably one of just the level 5 Monarchs. Uh, I'd like to like try to apply some pressure, since you've clearly bricked up a little bit here, but I can't really do that with this hand. So, I'm going to have to just give you an extra turn, which is not ideal. But at the same time, if you bricked and couldn't get out of the brick, it would be a bit of a boring game. Man, you love it's this war dragon. Ball. This is the is this the old art again? Uh, oh yeah. You realise that they put negate attack and duel You don't have to keep bringing it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, this is fine. You can get a free pop, what do you want? Yep, one of the back row. Hit ship of the seven okay. treasures. Not a bad one. Flip up a strong. Mm-hmm. So... Okay, so that doesn't do anything. But it gets cut out of your hand. Also in the wisdom guard. Okay. You get to draw and increase his level. One tribute. A throne. Mega Mama. Uh, okay, so you can... I choose a card on my field, and then you destroy one other card on my field. I think uh -huh. this is a good time to do this. We're going to activate my Crisis at the Sacred Tower. I'm going to go ahead and flip him face down, because I don't want you to do that. Okay. Let's go that all. You've killed my Jinzo Returner. Oh, Jinzo. Nice. And Slot Machine PG7. Ah, oh, these, uh, these hands are <laughs> uh, not ideal, let's put it that way. All right, let's start with my Machine Inspector. But each of us is going to excavate the top four, and then we're going to send up to two excavated machines and or trap cards to the graveyard. So I think I will be doing this. I will send probably this and this. I don't really need you in the graveyard. All right, then... I set, set, and guess set, and then pass. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Set. Battle. You have killed my crafter drone. Unfortunately, none of my background does anything to this. So we just have to hope we're not bricking for a third turn in a row. Um, okay, this is potentially do. Uh, the problem is you have three back row now. I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with all of that. All right, we'll start with Craft the Drone. Mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and activate its effect, and we're going to discard Craft the Drone to draw a card. Ah, that's very awkward. All right, we will normal summon out my Steel Soldier Gale Vinery. I can toss a coin if the results heads or face at monsters on my field gain 500 attack to the end of this turn. If it was tails, I can make one face at monster on my opponent's field lose 800 attack and defense. So we'll go ahead and do that. The heads is going to give us the boost, which is not really what we were after. All right, we will tribute to and summon out Jinzo Amplified. Uh... Like I said, top card to the graveyard, cannot be destroyed by trap cards this turn, and then he gains attack equal to the number of machines in my graveyard times 100. He destroyed, I can not be. Machinations, flip it face down. Uh, and then I'll end my turn. Set. Yeah, I've, I've got nothing then. I've bricked so hard. <laughs> 
Uh, that was uh, that was disappointing, but hopefully we won't brick quite so hard in the next game. Right, we'll go first, and hopefully, or we're gonna just get another one of these hands. Okay, uh, we'll activate Machine Inspector straight away. Two, three, four, and of course we hit a loaded. I mean, getting Jinzo in the graveyard's fine, but like hitting a trap card there would have been so good. So I'll put those two in the grave. Then we're gonna set, 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 and pass. Okay, that's a pretty strong open. Okay. Double negative So we can shuffle two monsters from the graveyard into the deck. And then I get a spell drop. Normal Will hell. So look at the face down spell trap into its field. If it was a spell card, you can destroy it. Um do we let that happen? Yeah, you know what, that's fine. Uh, French tribute. Ooh, tarantral. Okay. Um, two, a it craft the drone. Right, I guess I'll start with Machine Inspector again, since you did nicely give it back to me. We will be sending this and this. I think there's no reason to put that in the grave. Now I get a draw. Normal summon out my ultimate flag beast at Bolt Drycorn. I'm going to go ahead and activate its effect. I'm going to go ahead and target this back row so that you cannot use it against me. I'm going to normal summon out my Jinzo Returner. Then I'm going to activate its effect to bring back Jinzo Amplified from the graveyard. So now I can go ahead and activate Jinzo Amplified's effect. So we mill and gain attack up to 29. It's not a huge boost, but you know, every little helps. Ah, uh, this might be a mistake, but let's go for it anyway. I'm going to normal summon my Jinzo. Then I'm going to activate Torrential Tribute here. Wait a minute, I'm an idiot. Oh, it says opponent's trap cards. Yeah, opponent. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good if it wasn't that. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Right, we'll normal summon out Twin Barrel. We'll normal summon Binary. Activate Binary's effect. Watch this now get a Tails. Yeah, of course. Of course. Uh, we'll go Battle Phase, and we'll just get him for the 29. Ah, oh, man. If I could get an extra 29 on top of this, that would have been so good. And there was a potential yeah. to get an extra 15 on top of that. That would have put you as almost dead. One line of text, just not reading. Let's activate Emperor Roll. Okay. I'm gonna put the Royal Wisdom Guard. Okay. Throw I will activate Shiny Shady here. And we'll flip okay. this down. So that. Two. And. Okay. Okay, I will tribute two and summon out Jinzo Amplified. Then I'm gonna special summon Jinzo the Machine Menace. Activate Jinzo the Machine Menace's effect. Bring back Jinzo Amplified, and then I can look at all of your face down cards and destroy any trap cards. Well. That's the Jinzo thing! We did the Jinzo thing. Alright, I know your guy's a thousand defense rights, and you don't have any back rows, so if I just do this. Come on, heads. Let me just do this and this. I haven't done the math, but I'm sure this is more than enough. Uh, we'll just get that out. We know this has a thousand defense. And then we do get to go to game three. Oh, even after that throw, where I, I was so sure I had punted that, but... <laughs> uh, let's see what happens in game three. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, 2400 attack guy. Well, this hand is not super exciting. As much as I'd like to have a Jinzo to throw at you. We will just go ahead and set a bunch of cards and pass. The Emperor Realm. Okay, well there's Riser gone. So, Gram Nards are clearly gone. Yeah. Put the Royal Wisdom cards. We'll put two cards back. Four cards back even, not two. Get that extra plus. I've just done. Uh, tribute. Okay, so that is... Your opponent chooses one card on the field, you destroy one other card on the field. Okay, um, that's fine. I... don't really care about this back row. So... I guess I'll protect this and see what you do. Alright, cool. Do not care about Shepard's 7 mm -hmm. Uh, review. Will Aha, it was a trap. Okay. One set reverse, a pretty cool trap card. Let's throw a mega. Yep. So I can now target this. And then this triggers my trap card. I bring this back. And then none of my cards can be destroyed by card effects this turn. Okay. Uh, about all. It was Jinzo, number 7.7. .7. Oh, Tricorn. And Crafted Drone. Right? The issue I actually have is that your board is a little bit big with that Emperor Realm. That is the only real concern I have right now. I mean, we have to just do what we can. So I'm going to summon out Crafted Drone. Right? I'm going to activate the effect. I'm going to send Jinzo Amplified to the graveyard. I think we just have to do this then. So we'll summon out Jinzo the Machine Menace. Then we're going to activate Machine Menace's effect and bring back Amplified. Okay. Then we're going to activate Amplified's effect and gain some attack. So I will set this, set this, go to battle, and then I will... I guess it doesn't really make any difference which one we attack. And then we'll pass. Who's the Wisdom Vassal? Okay. Uh, these two. Well, I'll take back my ship the Seven Treasures, as it's the only card I have. Probably it's Drown. Normal seven out, little less Drown. Okay. That's a crafter. Um, here I will activate Sunset Rebirth, I think. So this will let me bring back a card, so I guess I'll bring back... Sure, why not? I don't think it matters, because it's probably going to die anyway. But we'll make it so these three can't be killed by card effects. Okay. Get out Mega Restrome. I'll target this. Go to battle. And you know what my back row is, so. <laughs> yep. Mm, okay. You're pretty good here. You also do things. Alright, I will normal summon my Bolt Tricorn. I'll go ahead and activate the effect. And we're going to obviously make it so you can't use this card. So we'll normal summon out slot machine PG7. Then I'm going to tribute both to summon out Jinzo the Machine Menace. Followed by summoning out Jinzo Returner, activating Jinzo Returner's effect, and bringing back Jinzo Amplified. Then I can normal summon my Gale Vinery, activate its effect. Uh, of course it's Tails. Uh, it doesn't really make much difference, I guess. Uh, we'll weaken this one. Then I can activate Jinzo Amplified's effect and gain some more attack. And I guess that's kind of it. So we'll go battle. Uh, we can clear this one. And then we can clear this one. And that's all we got. That's it. 
good at that all. No, not him. All right, I think we play it relatively safe rather than doing anything bombastic. So we're going to activate Gale Binary. Got the head so we each get the boost. Then I'm going to set, set. I'm going to set this in defense. Activate Jinzo Amplified. Gain attack. Go straight to battle. We'll see if we can get in over this. Okay, negate attack is completely fine. We'll pass on that. Let's put on our soldier. So send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Increase the level of one face up level six or lower monster on your field with a thousand defense by two. So it's just going to increase the level. You can get itself up to seven if you wanted. I think that's fine. This is place any two months from your graveyard at the bottom of your deck. Place a spell trap for your opponent's field on the bottom of the owner's deck. Okay. Straight to battle, okay. Let's see, clear Jinzo. Get some damage in over Vinny. Four cards left in hand. It must be a monster heavy hand. Although that is a very good draw. Alright, we will start by activating our Legend spell card, Dark Hole. Then we're going to normal summon out our slot machine. Activate its effect. This just gets me an extra body. Then I can normal summon out Jinzo Returner. Activate Jinzo Returner's effect. Bring back Jinzo Amplified. So I'm going to special summon out Jinzo the Machine Menace. I will then... I guess I'll just do this. I'm going to activate Shift the Seven Treasures. Discard this to draw. Um, that maybe would have changed things. How much is this if we activate this effect? Uh, that is just lethal. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Cool. Oh, but I was very worried then until I drew that dark hole and then everything was fine. It's funny how just <laughs> Emperor's Realm just put me in a situation where I was like, oh man, yeah, I can like, I can make a big board, but it doesn't beat 328s. <laughs> and then it, oh. like, I felt like you just stopped drawing your big monarchs. And I was like, okay, this has suddenly worked out a lot better than we expected. Yeah, fortunately. Uh... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, it's just something's gonna happen as well, right? Especially when you have to play like level fives plus level sevens and eights, and it all gets a bit wonky. It's the same um, problem Monarchs always had in the TCG as well. Is sometimes you will just open a hand that is a bunch of Monarchs and go, ah, I'm not playing this game. But we do have a lot of tools that do make them obviously a lot stronger. I mean, we we saw you have like advanced form. You got the satellite soldier. I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff's new. Or Wisdom Guards, I think, is a new card. Yeah, I always get confused with the little cards in Monarchs, because, and that's, that goes for both the, um, like, regular TCG and Rush. Because, yeah. like, they, they, they always feel like they're a bit weird in there. Um, but yeah, your, your deck definitely, you know, held its own, won one of the games, put me in a very precarious situation, and I basically had to sack a Legend to win. My deck is a bit of a weird one. I feel like so this is the second time I brought Jinzo. The first time I brought Jinzo, I felt like uh, I got a little bit shafted because it was a Jinzo versus Prime. Um, and I think Prime did go on to prove that it was like a very strong deck. Um, but Jinzo, the cards on paper, I feel like are pretty decent, right? Amplified becomes Jinzo when it's in the graveyard, so you have easy access to it via something like your Machine Menace or your uh, Jinzo prototype. Then Amplified can protect itself from Trap Destruction and gains attack. I guess the attack it gains is kind of low, but like you look at it now and it's a 4,000 attack monster. So it's like, is that, is that low, you know? Um, yeah. But it's only because we're like this deep in the game. Machine Menace, as we got to see in game two, can be absolutely crazy, right? Being able to pop all your back row is insane. The, the weird part of this card is, is oftentimes I'm like, oh, I can just cheat this card out. And it's like, oh, a free 2,400 body. And you would not... <laughs> Like, there were so many times in that game where just a free 2400 body didn't mean anything. And it's just so weird to be like, ah yes, my 2400, which usually would be a big number, staring down a bunch of 28s doesn't really accomplish much. But yeah, the main difference here compared to the last time is last time I don't think I was on the Mirror Innovators. And Mirror Innovator, although we didn't actually get to see me summon one 
in this uh, does actually fix a lot of the problems this deck has. It's easy access to a big attack monster. The deck still needs ways to recur monsters back into the deck. Mirror Innovator does solve that, as well as it's a way to beat set three pass because it does gain piercing. And we will just forever say that as long as machines are a viable deck, Mirror Innovator will be a viable boss monster, right? That's kind of where we're at. Oh, yeah. There. But yeah, this was a good one. Uh, GG, mm. buddy. GG.